After two long years, it's time. Today, RuneScape sees the release of the new Trailblazer Reloaded League. And if you know me, you know that I am so excited right now. It's a privilege to say that this video is in partnership with Jagex. Now, the league runs for two months and is a fast-paced version of old-school RuneScape. In Trailblazer Reloaded, you're locked to the starting regions of Mistalin and Karamja, but you can add up to three additional regions through completing tasks. Tasks give points, and points also give you access to powerful relic buffs that massively speed up your progress and change the entire entire game. I highly recommend checking out the league. You can find out more through the link in the description or just follow along with this video, but the leagues come round once every couple of years. And I have to say, I can't wait to get started. Welcome to the Trailblazer Reloaded League. All right, here we go. I've been waiting a long time for this. Trailblazer Reloaded. Oh, I'm in. And now to choose the first relic. And for me, I only have to read the titles to know what I'm choosing. Trickster. How can I not pick Trickster? Let's lock it in. It helps me with thieving, with hunter, with fire making, and agility. There we go. 58 points till the next area. We can start making some moves. Now, the Sage's Greaves are really important for agility because if I run around... They're going to give me some XP. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There we go. The second coolest thing about Trickster is you can automatically pickpocket. Hands off the keyboard right now. I'm just going to rob this guy of all his money. AFK thieving. That is going to be so, so nice. What's even better, you get more coin pouches than usual. So now I'm level 10 thieving. I've just been chilling this whole time. I'm just letting it run. <laughs> so the early plan is to run around the game, get a few early tasks done and... The next area is only 54 tasks away, so I can get there really quickly and boost up. And did I mention, Trickster gives you double loot from pickpocketing, so all these 63 coin pouches, I'm already rich, 300 GP at this stage of the game, I'm balling. Oh no, there's a task to chop this specific tree. The potato tree. Right, where, where, yo, where is this tree? It's here, the tree! I beg, I got it! <laughs> oh my, there's the stupid mages are killing us. I'm I, I want to get my forestry kit. I'm here. I'm getting it. Yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. So anytime I see a forestry event, I'm going to partake and that's going to get me some points. So I need to keep on the lookout for that. All right. Running around drain and rooftops 10 times is a task and that's going to train my agility up. And the trickster boots, the sages greaves, they scale with your agility level. So let's get the ball rolling with those. All right. There we go. 10 laps done, which is a medium task. 40 points for that. And now the boots are giving me more XP per drop. I'm 26 agility. So they're giving me 85 now. It's going to scale up quickly. Also, every shop is always full stock. So I can just spam by wines and they never disappear. That's so OP. There's no way. I have to dance in the graveyard. Bit disrespectful. Never seen before content. I'm rich. It's actually just injecting dopamine into my veins, seeing an agility XP <laughs> just pop up just for running about this game. What's well, cool that even though the starting areas are small, everybody has Fossil Island unlocked, so you can come straight here for all the great skilling activities. And you can come pet this good boy. Oh yes, the padding tray is here. Everyone was saying the padding tray would be super Super busy to get a free medium task. Well, I'm padding for gold. Well, it's actually panning for a jade. Hey, the jade, 40 points. That's such a free amount of points from that. So one thing that's cool about leagues is you can go onto the area interface and then you can teleport to that area. That's how you're going to get to some of your areas, like Karamja, for example. Look at this flame animation. Yo, Trailblazer is reloaded. And it puts me on the beaches of Brimhaven. Lovely. And this, my friends, is my final task to unlock my next relic. Let's have a look. Fairies, Flight, or Globetrotter. Now, fairies Fairy's Flight allows you to teleport to any fairy ring instantly and any tool leprechaun. You know the ones that stand next to the palm patches? That's what we get with that one. Globetrotter is everything from a jewelry box in the player own house or a portal necklace. So that's basically any teleport on a spell book in the game or any piece of jewelry teleport. And the passive effect from this tier is from five to eight times XP and mini game points are boosted by three times. That's really nice. What am I going to go for? I'm going to go for Fairy's Flight because it's impossible to do this in the main game. So let's lock that in. I think both options are very good there. I get a little mushroom that I can use to teleport places. Tool leprechauns. Oh, that is cool. There's a whole list of them. All right, let's use this. Let's go to north of Seth Groat's farm. Oh, we disappear. Boom, we're here. When can you ever teleport here? Oh, that's so cool. There's a bit too much competition in this mine. 
I don't have access to three ticking, but I can four tick things in here. It's kind of wild. I'm, try I'm trying way too hard. <laughs> Another crazy part of Trickster, you can never fail to light logs and you light nine at a time. Oh, that's so big. And with that greater demon kill, the final task I need to unlock a brand new area. That took less than an hour, which is crazy. Oh, I'm still ropey on my other regions. The only region I know I want to pick is the desert. We're going to be... A desert boy. Kanda and desert. Lock it in. Give me that. Oh, it looks beautiful. It's the only region I'm convinced of, so I'm taking it first while I think of the other regions still. And there's only actually 73 tasks until my next area and 260 points till the next relic. I feel like I'm just speeding through the game right now. I'm doing a bunch of really easy tasks, just checking them off my list. Right, here we go. I need to get the baby blue dragon on me first, run over here, and then I'll be able to safe spot the big boy. Okay, that plan worked on paper and it worked in practice. This is a cool teleport straight to this patch to get me to drain a mana. Very interesting, the leprechauns. And this is where the eight times XP kicks in straight to 40 attack. Oh, they found him, the dog. We had to touch this disgusting guy. Oh, wait, with that, I have enough points to unlock my tier three relic. I just literally just picked up a pineapple for that. Right, this is a huge choice to make. So Banker's Note means that you can note items anywhere in the game and unnote them anywhere in the game, which sounds absolutely crazy. But then Fire Sale is also crazy. It's infinite gold, infinite GP to spend on whatever you want. Now, the way I see it is Banker's Note is for the long term. Fire sale is for the short term. Now, my goal is rank one, obviously, and try and become the first person to unlock all the relic tiers. And I'll tell you what, it's quite a long road. There are eight tiers. So I'm going to go for Banker's Note. I might regret this. I'm going to fall behind for the next couple of days. But Banker's Note, I hope it shines through. I've locked it in. I was so tempted by Firestarter. Oh, we get the crystal of teleport memories thing as well. We get last recall now. Ah, oh, that is brilliant. Right, so Banker's Note, watch this. Bam, noted shrimps. Bam, unnoted. Anywhere in the game, it's going to be so OP. I will fall behind for now, but we'll be catching up. If you didn't know, you can use the crystal of memories to teleport back to where you've just teleported away from. So I've just teleported from the Grand Exchange and I can teleport back there if I clicked it right now. However, at the moment, it's a bit nerfed. It has a cooldown and I get rid of the cooldown by training up my total levels. Currently, the cooldown is six minutes, so it's not too good at the moment. Wait, this is actually so weird. The loot's getting doubled and noted. It's kind of crazy to see. I needed those gloves. That's nice. Oh, you also get double clues, and they're in a box. That is going to be so useful later on. I just can't get over how good this actually feels in the early game. There's my first level 50, and I can AFK there doing guards for pouches. A staple of every new account, the museum quiz. Give me all an XP, and it is a task, of course. Oh my, look at the worlds. They're all practically full right now. Leagues is firm and it's popping off. Bro, I haven't even been to Alcarid yet. I'm just checking off all the tasks I had written down. And I've only got 33 to my next area. I've literally haven't touched this entire desert. But I figure I may as well stick to my plan, knock out all the easy tasks, and then see where we're at. Oh, this is so chill for early smithing. I can just spam. Bam this shop and note them like this, the banker's note. I love this game, man. I love this game. It's so good. Banker's note again. I've got all the items I need. Uh? Oh, no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Look at this. The entirety of Terrain is on fire because everyone has the Trickster 9 fire relic. <laughs> oh yeah. And Trickster gets even better. You can't fail on Hunter Traps and it's better at luring Chins. Hey, I've unlocked my final tier. What did I even do? I killed three chickens in six seconds. What? <laughs> That's a task. I was trying to get some bones. Tier four is the big one. It's where you choose your combat style. Range, melee, or mage. Now, I went melee last trailblazer, so I don't want to do that. And I quite fancy being a superior sorcerer. So I'm going to lock in mage as my double attack speed style, as my saving rune style. I got, I got a rune pouch. I get an arcane grimoire where I can change spellbook. How does this work? Oh, I can just change the ancients just like that. Okay, I'm a mage. It's confirmed. All right, watch this. I'm about to light up these chickens like you've never seen before. Oh, look at it. It's two tick. Two tick mage. So what all the combat relics do is they turn your attack speed from five to two for most things. 
well, mage is the only useful one. Nothing like playing the game properly, eh, guys? <laughs> so now that I've done Rogue Trader, I'm going to invest in some nature runes. Let's buy 50. Go on, then. I saved 90% of my runes, so these are going to last me about 500 casts. The demon has been slayed. Demon slayer done. 40 points. And this Alkin is going to start really paying off soon. I can just run around the game, use barely any runes. We're going to be trading the mage up. Zero time spent. I didn't do this task earlier because it was taking so long. I thought I would save it until I have the giga spells. I barely touched the desert. I'm 12 points off the next area, so I feel like I'm may as well just go and unlock that one why are there no roofs on the rooftops <laughs> and with that i have now unlocked a brand new area already i can't believe it's been so quick it's been less than four hours <laughs> two areas in i feel like i've barely explored the desert but now i get to pick another one and i didn't expect it to be this quick oh, what am i gonna do what am i gonna do i'm gonna go basic bitch and we're going to go Kandarin. Desert, Kandarin, and then the third one might be a bit of a spicy one. Kandarin works well for the Tormented Bracelet, the Occult Necklace, when we eventually get all our good PVM gear. I'm obviously thinking about the long run here. But Kandarin is a very good area for the medium game. So many good things. I now have all the info I needed to get over 100 kudos and teach me in some skills. 20k crafting, 20k mining. That's how I've kicked off those stats. Barely touched them up until now, but we're looking very nice. And now I've leveled my crafting, I can kick off the gemscape method. Joining everyone here, you can actually buy a bunch of emeralds uncut. They never run out of the shop. And then you can craft them, which gives insane crafting XP per hour. As you can see, the whole squad's here. And then you can sell them back to the shop for a very tidy profit. I just made a bunch of money off that inventory. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to buy a bunch of emeralds and then I'm going to note them up and we're going to run around the game crafting emeralds. It's actually mad these are so cheap. They're 50 coins each and I can buy just tons of them like this and bank note them up. It's so good. Okay, I think 400 is enough for now. And then I can run over to Ali. We've got the runes going. It's all flowing. Because I can just make all this GP back chiseling gems wherever I want to. <laughs> That's the power of the banker's note. You can multi-skill. And here we go. The beginning of the Kandarin task. Now, I don't want to get too much XP until I get my next relic. Because at the next relic, I'll actually get up to a times 12 multiplier, which I'll be at for a while. So I should start my skilling phase then. For now... More points and tasks. Oh my god, how many runes did I just put in this pouch? Five! <laughs> I can store five in there, what? Alright, trickster thieving AFK is crazy. I'm about to break my first level 70. 1.1k XP drops. That means this is 3 bill XP an hour right now. Right, I've literally just been <laughs> looking at the task list and I've got 75 thieving just from that. And that means I can steal from this gem stall, which I'm pretty sure is a hard task. Give me up. There we go. Nice little easy diary completion here. And you can use the Karamja one straight away. So I get straight to 25 herbal. Bro, oh, infinite runes is just so nice for absolutely everything. Now this guy thinks he's fancy with his rune pickaxe on the rocks. <laughs> I'll be taking him. Oh, you love to see it. Now I've got hair plot. I can finally three tick. The skiller within me is back. Okay, pretty good result there. I got my ruby for a task. I got a bunch of gems as well. Nice. I got plenty of trading sticks. Oh my god. The tribesman. All right, is that full villager? Full villager done. Hardwood Grove as well there. All right, it's a necessary evil. Getting this big XP drop from the Sleeping Giants quest. I'm now 44 smithing, so I can use that to knock out tons of smithing tasks. Oh, no. This guy's mining the star. I need... It's a hard task to mine a star. It's on level 60. And this MVP right here is getting it down. We need it to go down two more layers. Oh my god, look at it. It's beautiful. Is it on its last legs? Everyone's gathered around. Can I get some stardust? There we go. That is a 80-point task. Very good if you can find one. Ooh! Squirkin, we're about to clean up inside here. I can do literally every single tree. Quick side note, if you're trying to find me on the high scores, I'm playing on pure mission. I tried to log into my main account, but I just couldn't get in for the first 20 minutes. So we had to send it on the pure. Also, you should definitely subscribe. I'm going to be going so hard this leagues. Make sure you don't miss a thing. All the squirks. There are so many thieving tasks that you just completely start snowballing. Oh my, now I can switch up onto the hero as well. 2k XP drop. Oh, it's going to be huge. All right, well, it's not quite what I had planned, but I think this Tears of Gothics is going to go on runecrafting. Is it worth using right at the start? I think it probably is. 
I think it probably is. It has the biggest effect. Runecrafting XP 10k. And that is enough for a tier 5 relic. Tier 5 is an interesting one. We've got Treasure Seeker, which makes Clue Scrolls so much better. We've got Bloodthirsty, which makes Slayer a lot better. But you can't actually pick your task with this Slayer relic. And then you've got Infernal Gathering, which makes skilling a lot better. I don't think I'm going to take this because... All the production things I have to do are fast. And also, it speeds up actions by a tick. But I don't think that's going to work if I tick manipulate. And no one else has got this relic right now in the game to test it. So, I'm not going to be the guinea pig on that one. The Slayer one, you can't actually pick your own task. Which is what's really throwing me off here. I think it probably is good. But there are passive Slayer buffs from the fourth tier, I believe. Yeah, you already get a real boost to Slayer. So, I don't think I'm picking Slayer. Am I really going to pick the clue scroll relic? Oh, let's lock it in. I think that's the best one for the medium to long term is the clue scroll relic. And that's what we're going for here. We've got three more tiers to go, but look at the points bar. That is a long, long way. The good thing about this tier five is the passive relic effect, which means I get 12 times XP now. So I can really open up my skills and go for some XP grinds. It's been a phenomenal first day. Ups and downs, but it wouldn't be a first day video without a little bit of this.